area churches on those safety issues. Some interesting news recently regarding water quality, the Clinton River and an insect. Here's Nick Perot. Well, I'm sure you've probably all heard of the term, there's something in the water. Well, Macomb County Public Works staff members recently found a discovery in the Clinton River, and they say it's a good thing for the county. We've gone out about six or seven times, because we go out twice a year. And like, this is the first time we've seen caddisfly. Caddisflies are the scientific order name for Trichoptera, which is an insect that likes to inhabitate clean water. And Claudette Wisnick notes that caddisflies are a good sign for Clinton River. What that means, between the caddisfly and we saw sow bugs for the first time, they're both like pollution-free water. They're very sensitive to pollution. So that tells us this river is recovering because we're starting to see them. So our hope is to find a higher quantity of them. Now the search for insects like caddisflies and sawbugs requires using a wader and also takes a lot of patience. Go in and start with a dip net, which is what he's using right now. It's a special net. It's actually shaped like the letter D. And this is what we use to stir up the bottom. And they stir it up and they actually take samples from um, that level of the water and put it in a bucket and that's what we look at when we do look for the bugs. Now the department feels one of the biggest contributing factors to the arrival of caddis flies is the department's bioswale. It's, it's like a special ditch where we put in native plants and the key is to filter the water before it goes to the river. The plants here which help too. Uh, they're deep rooted so you're not getting that big runoff into the Clinton River. That's, that's probably a good example of why this, the, we're finding those bugs down there. You're not getting that sediment. You're not getting that big runoff. In. Deputy Public Works Commissioner Gene Shabath, along with the department, encourages citizens to develop their own type of bioswale and monitor the amount of chemicals they use. If they do so, they believe they will see improvements just like the Clinton River. Restrict the, the chemicals that you're putting, oils or gasoline or whatever. Uh, this is the result of it. You have a, a cleaner river. And this is the proof of it that it's, it's really working. And if you just look back, maybe even five, ten years ago, how bad the river was, and it's improving. And uh, this is a graphic example of it. For Shelby This Week, I'm Nick Perot. Keeping the record straight, that's one of the jobs of the township.